If you're a cat owner, you know that sometimes your furry friend can slink off and seemingly vanish off the face of the earth. But surely that can't happen literally, right? Well, have a look at this and decide for yourself. That cat isn't just going for a stroll, it's visiting the shadow realm. A lot of these security camera videos do seem to show familiar types of footage, with figures slowly fading away on screen. But how could this security camera mess up that badly? Or where the hell did that cat disappear to? Let us know what you think. While the supernatural can often leave us trembling, nothing quite gets the heart thumping like claustrophobia. Check out why. What's up everyone? We're at this deep pit cave today, and we've been here before, but we couldn't make it very far without a second rope. So we got a second rope today. We're gonna go ahead and string these up. Yep, yep. Yeah, nice and smooth. Wow. I see what you mean, that's a tight one. I'm going into this hole that's so tight, I had to take my helmet off. Oh, that's tight. Ah, really sharp too. Oh. This is where I'm at. Water's right here. There's no room for me to move my head. If I try and tilt it up, my mouth goes underwater. Gotta keep pushing it down. This is not good. Like, legit, to move forward, I have to dig the rocks out. Oh my god. If this ceiling even collapses like an inch, I'm squished like a bug. If I want to stand my head up, I can't. This just goes underwater. While enjoying a caving trip, this guy got himself stuck by crawling through a very narrow tunnel. The water in the tunnel gave him the illusion that it would open up on the other side, but the further he got, the more he'd lodged himself in between the jagged rocks. Luckily he didn't eat anything too heavy, so he made it out alive, ready for his next adventure, and with a great campfire story to tell. No manner of years watching those spooky backroom videos could have prepared you for this next clip. This guy had a job searching for a leak around an urgent care centre that had been abandoned a few months prior. He had no idea why everyone left so suddenly. That is, until he delved further into the building and heard some things that made him feel as though he wasn't the only one tiptoeing around. Let's watch. Another bathroom. Uh, this is a second uh, two story building. This used to be the elevator shaft right here. I guess we're taking the stairs. I guess meditation class used to be upstairs. Had to put your shoes in this little cubby. The footage cut abruptly as he tried to compose himself after hearing someone, or something, bolting down the stairs right in front of his eyes, when clearly, there was no one to be seen. 
he grew some balls and went upstairs to film the meditation room, but it didn't look like he no-clipped into level one. After some further investigation, uh, there's no one else in this building. I've heard someone go down those stairs, though. So, I guess this was the meditation room. There's a lot of natural lighting in here. I don't, probably don't need the flashlight right now. Here's the top of the elevator shaft. You can't see anything down there. So, here's the meditation room. Kind of looks like the back rooms. It looks very culty. There's a stage up here. It looks like a couple of altars next to them. Creepy. Okay, now I'm getting the f*** out of here. That was it. Was it a bit of fancy footwork? Or a real living nightmare? Another bathroom. Another bathroom. Another bathroom. Let us know what you think in the comments section. Staying in a hotel and Airbnb can feel a bit off. You'll usually brush it off as a bit of imposter syndrome, but this couple found the reason to feel weirded out inside their Airbnb. Take a look. According to the video, they were hearing strange noises under the bed during the night when they found this. Why there's a huge pit under the bed? No idea. But where the hell does that window lead? Many comments seem to point to the idea of a trafficking operation. But the question is, did that couple narrowly avoid becoming victims? As if you needed another reason to cancel that all-inclusive holiday. Here's a bit more footage to make you hotel phobic. Sadly, this is something that has happened to many people during their hotel stays. Creepers sometimes set up cameras in hotel rooms to catch people in compromising positions. It just so happened that one of those creeper camera signals was picked up by the hotel's TV. Terrifying, isn't it? The following creepy video was sent to us via email from one of you guys. Shout out to Trina G. She said her nephew, who works as a security guard, noticed an anomaly inside a church and decided to record it while he was driving home at around quarter to four in the morning. And here is what he caught that night. Looks kind of strange. Now, we're no electricians. But after researching potential causes for this, we just couldn't find any that would make sense. For one, it couldn't be a problem with the bulbs, switches or dimmers. The chances are very slim that all of the bulbs and switches on multiple buildings would have the same problems at the same time. And secondly, faulty wiring doesn't make much sense either, as we can see all the other buildings around flashing at the same frequency as the church. And for sure, voltage fluctuation and faulty wiring wouldn't just flash the lights perfectly timed like clockwork, would they? It would flash in sporadically random intervals. It also couldn't have been people messing around inside the church because a good number of buildings far away were flashing at the same time too. The whole thing just doesn't make any sense, especially when it's in a church at stupid o'clock. Moreover, her nephew also said that no alarms were going off, and no police or anyone around the building, even after he waited a while to figure out what was going on. He said that the lights eventually stopped on their own, and that he left. If you're an electrician, or know what on earth could be happening here, please leave us a comment. TikToker Danny Tumia was made to follow his son on elevator rides and say all sorts of playful gibberish, but he didn't read much into it. Well, that was until this happened. Whoa. Going down. Oh, that's scary. Oh, that's scary. Did you see the reflection on the door? 
it looks like a humanoid figure with horns caught on camera just for a few seconds. Interestingly, this wasn't the first time something creepy had happened in this elevator. On a previous elevator ride, his son told him, the boy is here, but it didn't make sense to him until he spotted handprints right above his son's head. Now he thinks his son can talk to ghosts. Could that be why his son often seems to talk to himself and insist on elevator rides? Or is this another case of TikTok being TikTok? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. They say engaging with a paranormal entity can make things 10 times worse. Well, this US Navy veteran was about to experience just that. After being assigned to Camp Shields Barracks in Okinawa, Japan, a popular area amongst the paranormal community for the ghostly evidence the military has captured there over the years. Thankfully, this veteran also tried to capture his experiences on camera to show the world how haunted the whole island is. But as it turns out, he might have made his life there a hell of a lot scarier. Let's watch. I didn't just see a f***ing hand. You mad or what? You mad I threw that f***ing helmet at you? Do it again. Make some noise. Show me your f***ing real, pussy. F*** your f***ing island. Show me. F***ing Satan ass motherfucker. Show me. Prove to me that you're fucking real. Do it, pussy. What, you mad? Show me. Swing some shit. Make them noises and shit that you did when I'm fucking, when you woke me up. Do it. Do it, pussy. Do it. Oh my fuck gosh, bro. Bro. Hey. Hey, chill the fuck out. Hey! Cut that shit off. He was asleep when loud, strange noises from the lockers woke him up. Terrified and confused, he brought his phone to record the incident while taunting the entity. And boy, did he get a response. Sure, we never see who could be inside the closet, and the skeptics were pretty quick to point that out. But when he published the next video, something else happened. Something that is a little harder to explain. Take a look. I didn't told all my homies, everybody, the whole world saw that shit. It's fake. There's someone's in the closet. All right, explain to me that shit then. Look, I didn't have it with this fucking island. I didn't have it with this goddamn. <laughs> I didn't have it with this goddamn room. This room is haunted out of the ass. The lamp was goddamn moving. I was in my bed peacefully watching some videos, which I will not say, and I saw the lamp move. Hey, you see this? You see me? All right, take a good look at me. I'm a cowboy. You see what this is? You see what this is? This is a cowboy boot. You wanna f*** with my goddamn lamp? F*** with my lamp, mother. The shit. Oh, fuck. Bet you missed it, didn't you? As he moans about skeptics, a paper moves seemingly on its own, and he also starts talking about his lamp experience, backed up by the footage he captured. He clearly had enough. You could just tell how frustrated he was, kicking and hitting stuff around the place. 
We find it very hard to doubt this one. He seems to have a pretty genuine reaction to the activity. Plus, whenever a video from the Okinawa military base comes out, the comments sections are filled with ghost stories from other veterans who served in that area. That sure does add some credibility to our guy's story. But what do you think? Is he telling the truth? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Found a scary video you'd like us to feature? Send us the link on Facebook, Twitter or Instagram at GoosePimplesYT. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to get a notification for all our new scary compilations. This next creepy video was emailed by one of you guys who wishes to remain anonymous. Their mum captured the footage a couple of months back to show them what she had been dealing with while she was home alone. They stated that their mum never believed in the supernatural until recently when the thing started happening in her house. Here's what she caught one night while she was laying in bed. There is movement there. I don't. It's right there. I don't know. If you can see it, but it's there. Oh. oh. I don't. Oh, God, I don't want to go in there. This <clears throat> this always happens when I seem to be having a bad night. There's nothing here. It always happens. I don't... Oh God. Oh God. Hello? Oh, oh. Something appeared to be behind the curtain, moving it. But when she checked, there was nothing there. We can also see that there are no windows that could cause a draft. Their mum lives in an old house, believed to be haunted. But since she didn't believe in the paranormal, she paid it no mind and just enjoyed the discount. However, she started noticing subtle movements in the kitchen whenever she was having a rough night. But this time, the eerie disturbance got a little bit closer. We do find this one fascinating. The way she's breathing sounds like genuine fear, and the footage looks so real. But what do you think? Is she spooking herself when there could be a more logical explanation? Or there's her, and then there's the others. Oh. Oh. If you've been watching us for a while, you'll be well versed into the terrifying reality of caving. We have featured a few videos of claustrophobic cave expeditions that would strike fear into the heart of even the bravest person. But sometimes, the scariest thing isn't the impossibly narrow passageways, 
it's the fact that somebody might have found that part of the dark cave before you. While on a hike with his dog, this guy decided to investigate the seemingly isolated stone walls. After spotting some bugs and some bats flying around, he stepped further into the cave until he spotted something that sent a chill down his spine. It's blurry, but if you look closely and turn the brightness up, you can see what looks like a person draped in a black cloak. Luckily, the guy and his dog managed to get themselves out of there. Apparently, the police were called and shown that video, but nothing has come from it just yet. What do you think this was? A paranormal entity, a cult, or something else? Let us know in the comment section. Throughout the years, the Taboo Paranormal team fearlessly ventured into countless haunted locations at stupid o'clock with zero regrets. Well, that was until they were followed by what they believed to be a haunting presence, which is now taking over their own home. They realised that the occult was not to be messed with when their once calm cat started freaking out around a supposedly haunted mirror they found. In a desperate attempt to understand what they were dealing with, they conducted a Ouija board session. But it turned out to be a big mistake, because the chilling footage their cameras captured later that night left them shaking with fear. Take a look. Bringing a haunted mirror inside their home was already bad news, but taking their fingers off the planchette was probably the last straw. However, that was not the only weird thing their cameras captured that night. After reviewing a picture they had taken hours earlier, and with a bit of brightening, they saw something that sent a chill down their spines. If this is not pareidolia, there must be some sort of humanoid face with long sharp teeth prowling around behind them. But if this wasn't creepy enough, their investigations continued. And a few nights later, they also managed to capture this. So much for a restful night of sleep. All these strange happenings seemed to confirm their claims. Something decided to follow them home from their haunted expeditions. Or could it all just be a product of some good old entertainment? Neither their about page, video description, nor disclaimers mentioned for entertainment purposes only. So we assume they claim it all to be genuine. But is it really? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. To see more spooky clips like these, subscribe to Taboo Paranormal on YouTube. On a dark, rainy night, a security camera captured the stuff of nightmares, subtly 
hiding in plain sight. Take a look. Did you notice how the little girl appeared behind the car? She didn't seem bothered about the rain, but was rather fixated on holding her gaze on something, or someone. While that might have been a lost girl too drenched to care, it might as well have been something far more sinister. If you've ever lost a co-worker, you'll know how heartbreaking and strange it can be. Someone you spent almost every day working next to is suddenly gone. But for the people working in this garment factory, their workmate may have passed, but she doesn't seem to be gone just yet. The factory manager began installing security cameras after they suffered a burglary, but the cameras began capturing the unexplainable instead. Boxes and mannequins would move on their own while the factory was empty, leaving the workers shaking at the thought of going back to work. They couldn't think of anything that could be causing it, until they saw this. At first glance, this is just a standard spooky clip, but an interview with the manager revealed something heartbreaking. A woman named Miss Tanaka worked at the factory for over 20 years and was well loved by all of the other workers. She passed away a few years back and was sorely missed. But almost as soon as she passed, the haunting started happening and the sewing machine that went off on its own was hers. Is this a message from Miss Tanaka? Or is somebody conducting some fancy camera work? What do you think? Let us know. The dark can lead your mind to some truly spooky places, especially when you're traipsing around a pitch black, barren corridor in search of poltergeist activity. These guys were just trying to explore an urban area for a video, but among the cool graffiti and crumbling walls, something else seemed to make itself at home there. Something nobody can explain. Take a look. There is some kind of transparent figure rising from the floor. The group decided not to try their luck by sticking around and go bolting out of there. But as their feet slammed against concrete, there was something else lurking within their group. Bet you missed it at first, but let's slow it down. That's one creepy face. If you're thinking rationally, you could say it's just a blurry shot of one of the women in the group. But there were no women in the group. So who the hell was that? New Mexico has a lot of haunted hotspots, creepy hotels, cemeteries, etc. But perhaps it's time to throw a new one into the mix because these guys found something terrifying in the abandoned Sin Opera, something that would put them off urban exploring for years to come. Take a look. Bet you missed it, didn't you? Look at the back of the room. There's someone there. Looking at the Opera House's history, it was opened in 1949 and housed many stage plays, screenplays and concerts. But after falling on hard times, it closed doors in 1998 and has been abandoned ever since. Many locals have reported strange noises and sights of shadow figures wandering in and around the building. It could just be one of the group's friends running around in a different room. But what if it wasn't? What if it was someone or 
something with sinister intentions. Never know, but it's best to remove the urban explorations off your to-do list. Twitter user Sitio Paranormal uploaded a video of a very strange thing caught in a cemetery. You might be questioning, and rightly so, what the hell was a camera doing in a cemetery at night? Great question. Maybe the gravedigger wanted to catch someone in the act, or maybe it was placed there to prank someone. Who knows? But the way it moved seemed very bizarre indeed. The ghost hunters from Realm Explore investigated an old, abandoned mansion built in the early 1900s. A couple of decades after it was built, the villa with 49 rooms was converted into a nursing home for god knows why, and a while after that, the nursing home was abruptly closed with many amenities left behind. No one knows exactly why it was closed down, but many believe that it was due to the high number of strange activities reported from inside. The team at Realm Explore didn't find much at first, but after they'd uploaded the video, one of their viewers pointed out something very weird that they caught on camera. Bet you missed it, didn't you? Let's slow it down and zoom it in. It looks like a black shadowy hand vanishing into the wall. At first you could assume that it was just a shadow formed as the light entered the room, but when you slow it down a bit, you'll see that there's nothing there that could have cast that shadow. It also seems to only appear for two or three frames. Surely if something was in front of the light casting the shadow, it wouldn't just vanish through the wall without being visible on the doorframe. Or maybe you have another theory. Let us know. These girls found out the hard way that those old urban legends are more terrifying than you could ever imagine. They decided to pay a nightly visit to their old, abandoned and supposedly haunted school to see if the legend was true. Apparently, if you knock on the nurse's door, something will knock back. But they didn't get a knock back. They got something much worse. Go! Go. Just knock on it, knock. No, go. Knock harder. Let them know. <laughs> Let them. <laughs> A woman can be heard screaming the word, get out, from the other side of the door. Whether paranormal or not, one thing's for sure, we'll never see any of these girls outside after bedtime again. While renovating their new house, this family caught something beyond the ordinary on camera. This is how it all started. Um, and then... Here's a shower. This is actually what we're using. Uh, it looks super sketch, but it's actually really, really nice. Don't tell Emily, but there was a spider in it. Um, it's actually really nice. This is what we use until we fix the upstairs shower and then the very open bathroom with a random phone there. So if, you know, I'm doing business, I can still do business. <laughs> and then washer, dryer, this, and of course you got you got the bar. This is a work in progress thing. Hey, what, what the fuck? As he was gleefully recording a house tour for a family member, he heard footsteps coming down the stairs, but there was no one to be seen. He brushed it off. However, this was only a sign of creepy things to come. If only he'd listened. Here's what happened next.
Once the renovation was done and they settled in nicely, whatever made those steps began to toy with them. Nothing makes your heart beat faster than hearing someone at your door, only to meet nobody. Since the poltergeist decided to play games, he also set up a camera there. But damn, what he captured was creepy. Watch. The camera caught the supposed ghost running down the stairs and even colliding with the camera. There's definitely something going up and down those stairs. We just don't see it. Maybe the next spooky clip will bring us closer to the answer we seek. The next day, the entity didn't mind playing with the camera and could even be heard giggling towards the end of the clip. But the more they engaged with it, the closer it got to the family. Take a look. Alright, watch this. Get off. Thank you. Isn't that creepy? Oh! <gasps> it's always when we do creepy shit. While playing on his iPad, his dog kept trying to draw his attention to something in the room with them. But since he didn't speak dog language, he didn't get the message. Until the poltergeist announced its presence, just as he said the word creepy. Isn't that creepy? Oh! <gasps> Even if someone else was in the house, how could the person vanish so quickly? There's got to be some other forces at play here. Real poltergeist activities, or another gimmick to become social media famous? Be sure to leave your comments below. Who doesn't like a bit of Middle Eastern poltergeist shenanigans? That's right, it's been way too long since we last featured Adventurer Allah. We love his videos for how fun they are to watch, but this time we found way too many jump cuts, and even though his channel became popular amongst other paranormal compilations, we want nothing but the truth, and I'm pretty sure you do too. So today, we want to show you what to look for before deciding if a jump cut could be just a camera glitch, or if that jump cut could be a clear sign of fakery. For that, let's play a game, shall we? Every time we spot a jump cut, you'll hear a <coughs> We'll then show you how they're pulling their tricks. And at the end, leave a comment with the number of jump cuts you counted. Ready? Thank <laughs> you. 
آه. انا خوفي تكون عمالة صعبة الله القوي وانتم الضعفاء The jump cuts couldn't make it any clearer. Check this out. First, he shows the entire room on camera to prove it's empty. Then we can see the first cut, allowing his friend to enter the room off camera and pull a string from the other side. Our guess is his friend is here. And here's another jump cut, so his friend can leave the room off camera again. That's when he returns to the room to show us that area and pretend it has always been empty. Anyway, how many jump cuts did you count? Let us know in the comment section. What's a Goose Pimple scary compilation without a hearty dose of creepy doll videos? And this one is next level. One day, while cleaning out his garage, this guy found a Gwendolyn doll stuffed under a load of cardboard boxes. Now that's creepy as it is, but as soon as he put her inside the house, the lights started freaking out like crazy. Stop! Me Remy! Remy? Hey, stop! Stop messing with the lights! Elijah! At first, he thought it was just a bit of electric failure, but the activity didn't stop at that. Days went by and strange things kept happening throughout the house while he was at work. And he managed to catch creepy moments like this on camera. So I get off work and uh, <coughs> this is what I come home to. Which would be cool. But I'm um, alone and there's nobody here. Except maybe Digi. Digi, did you run the bath? Were you gonna take an- What the fuck? Digi? After getting sick of the activity plaguing his life, he began to suspect the doll might be the root cause of it all. But when he told his audience that he might get rid of her, something terrifying happened. Take a look. Sounds crazy. It sounds crazy, son. but um, like the, the weird stuff started when I got her, when I got her out, right? Uh, so like, I, I think I just need to, you know, put her back. Do I just get rid of her? Uh, it's, uh, Looks like she isn't ready to leave anytime soon. How the hell did the wine glass shatter out of nowhere? According to him, the hand holding the doll was burning. But what do you think? Is his house really haunted? Or is he really good at pulling tricks? Let us know your thoughts. When you're driving late at night for long periods, your vision can end up a little bit distorted. At least that's what this guy thought while he was cruising down a highway in Mexico. While thinking he should have taken the advice from the don't drive when you're tired sign a couple of miles back, he saw something on the side of the road that made him do a double take. someone's in a rush. It took some time to properly figure out what the hell that thing could be. But if you look closely, a dress billowing around her and it's legging it. He couldn't figure out if he had actually seen that or if his eyes were deluding him. 
Could this be somebody taking a shortcut on their walk back from a night out, or something a little more sinister? This family never thought they would come face to face with the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future until they caught this spooky footage on their home security cameras. Looks like someone, or something, wants to get involved in the Christmas festivities. Those sliding cupboard doors don't tend to have handles on the inside. And how did the bag get crushed in on itself? It does look creepy, but there is an instance in this video where we found something a little sus. Let's see if you spot it too. Did you catch that? Look at the Christmas tree and the TV on the other side of the room. It looks like a jump cut or some video masking trying to remove someone in the corner who could be pulling a string. Or is it just a video glitch? Maybe that was just the tree lights turning off. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and look at another clip. At first glance, you could put it down to his wife sliding out of view and pulling on the blankets, but she walked to the opposite side of the room, so that couldn't be her. And all of those orbs flying around make this footage a lot more believable. Plus, the rest of the video shows some pretty interesting activities. Watch. I However, right before the drawers shoot open, the footage goes from purplish to black and white, which is a little sus. Whether the uploader edited it to hide someone's shadow, failing to go unseen, or it was an automatic feature of that camera, it is up to you to decide. But yet again, in another segment of this video, we spotted something that will leave you even more suspicious about this supposed haunted place. See if you catch this one too. At first glance, nothing seems to be wrong with this, just the TV switching on and off again. But while that could be done from anywhere in the room with remote control, that isn't our focus here. Check out the light reflection from the TV onto the picture above the sofa. It only appears a few seconds after the screen has been switched on. The last time we checked, the speed of light was a hell of a lot quicker. So, could this be a sign that they are faking their videos? Guess we'll never know unless we were there to prove it, especially when we found it really hard to debunk the latest video they uploaded. Take a look and see if you spot anything we missed. Did these videos leave your hair standing on end, despite the suspicious clips? Or are the little details we spotted while analysing them enough to debunk their claims? You tell us in the comments. The family living in this house claims they've been the recipients of some weird instance, fortunately and unfortunately. The security camera caught a rather hair-raising sight in the kitchen, 
here's what was caught. What seems like a humanoid figure appears from thin air just after an orb flew full speed only to suddenly disappear as quick as it come. It would have to be more than a coincidence that they'd have faulty wiring just before the figure appeared, but it could also be a bit of cheeky editing with a lights out effect. If you've been binging our scary compilations for a while now, you probably remember Magnus Madsen. He moved into his own house, hoping to leave his old life behind. But something from his childhood home seemed to follow him and make itself comfortable. Items moving on their own and floating orbs are pretty standard in the new house. And the activity became so common that he set up cameras everywhere to prove he wasn't going crazy. But since the last time we featured him, things have become even creepier. Take a look at this scary video he recently posted on his TikTok account. My house is still haunted. After a long time, something finally happened. It really scared me this time. Worried about the whole scenario he found himself in, he began recording his staircase as he could hear a strange knocking coming from that area every night. But after only two days of recording, he caught something that left him considering moving away. Imagine going to bed every night thinking that at any time your front door could open by itself. Would you stay? Let us know in the comments section, but perhaps it's time for Magnus to pack up and find somewhere else to live. That's the ghost's house now. Alex is something of a master at exploration, and how could he ignore the opportunity to take a tour of an abandoned nun's convent? After walking and hearing strange, echoing laughter through the long hallways, Alex realises his camera is nearly out of juice, so he heads back home. But when he watched the footage back, he spotted something that sent a deep sense of dread scuttling up his throat. Watch. Take a good, long look at the open doorway in this replay. Someone is standing there. The silhouette also looks suspiciously veiled, which is incredibly spooky when you remember the video was captured in a convent. Perhaps someone wasn't quite ready to pass on just yet. Let's hope she didn't latch onto Alex as he left. While investigating a Mexican cemetery where many locals swear they caught dolls moving by themselves, these ghost hunters expected to capture something spooky, but they never expected the huge creep fest that they were about to witness. Take a look. No puede ser. 
Sí, amigo, sí, sí se miró. Colo. Who don't love some creepy dolls moving on their own, right? Eh, güey, parece que se movió otro. No, sí se movió, güey. El más grande, mira. Se está moviendo, güey. Eh, güey, se levantó. No puede ser. El segundo de, de una orilla se levantó. El segundo. El este, güey. Se, el segundo que este. está con el de gorro. Ese, amigos, miren, ese mono se movió. Es el único que tiene gorro ese un lado. Parece que algo en el suelo se movió. ¿Dónde, güey? En el suelo se movió algo, güey. Mira. No, no, se está moviendo un mono para la puerta, güey. Sí, güey. O para la ventana. No, mira, mira, mira la ventana, güey. Mira. Ese mono que está ahí, güey. Ese es. Sí, sí, sí. Es un mono. ¿Qué es, güey? No sé qué es. Arriba. Arriba, el de arriba, güey, se movió de arriba. Se está moviendo de Acá arriba lado, se movió wey. uno. Acá arriba se movió uno. Se está moviendo de todos lados, güey. Sí, es cierto, sí se está moviendo, güey. ¿Quién eres? What's most fascinating about this video is the way so many dolls move in multiple directions when there's a glass window on both sides and a lock on the door, making it incredibly hard, if not impossible, to create those movements with strings without being seen on camera. But for clarity's sake, let's assume they were pulling strings or remote control tampered dolls. Who in their right mind would allow them to open the lock of a private family mausoleum just to mess with the dolls for one video? There's also no way that there could be somebody behind the dolls, as it's completely blocked off. More so, these are clips from a live stream where they kept engaging with their audience, so it couldn't have been pre-recorded or edited. This one left us baffled, but maybe you spotted something that we didn't. If you did, point it out in the comments because we'd love to know. Tired of the conventional girls' night out, these two friends decided to spend the night in the haunted Crescent Hotel in Arizona. Built in the 1800s, this hotel is well known for its numerous ghost sightings. Room 218 is the most active location where multiple guests have reported seeing hands come out of the bathroom mirror. The crystal dining room has playful spirits in Victorian dresses, and a man, also in Victorian clothing, was seen sitting near the windows. Dr. Norman Baker, who ran an experimental cancer hospital in the hotel, is still seen today in his purple shirt and white linen suit. Tours are offered year-round, and apparently it's pretty common for visitors to report being tucked into bed where a man in all-black Victorian-style attire appears for a few seconds. With all these eerie sightings, it comes as no surprise that these girls also captured something during their stay. Something very hard to explain. Take a look. Girls trip most haunted hotel in America and my nightstand on You've the creepy door is my eyes just so like early bedtime looking for ghosts. Bet you missed it, didn't you? When she pans the camera around, we can see a white figure almost like an uninvited little girl who seems to have joined the party. Now, one thing we noticed was her shadow which can be seen on the wall just before she runs in front of the camera. That, of course, raises the question, do ghosts have shadows? Or was this a hoax? And that was her daughter or something? If so, how the heck did she run full speed into the bedside table without crashing and screaming? Creepy, isn't it? You could probably say a trip to the dispensary could leave people seeing all sorts of things. That's what this guy thought while he was working his shift at a dispensary in Oregon. That was until he watched the CCTV footage back after his shift. That's no trick of the mind. 
But the thing that makes it even spookier is that the shop used to be used as a pharmacy years ago, meaning many sick and dying people set foot inside the building throughout history. So, if the history is pointing to a haunting, and the footage is pointing to a haunting, is there a chance it could be anything else? Let us know your thoughts on this one. A group of ghost hunters are exploring an abandoned morgue at stupid o'clock when something very creepy is caught on camera. The footage was uploaded on YouTube by Toppy, a team with a knack for showing up at scary places in Russia to gather paranormal evidence. This time, Sergei, Nastya and Igor decided to investigate an abandoned morgue that was temporarily built during the 2020 lockdowns. However, as it turns out, that place might not be as abandoned as they first thought. While Sergei and Igor investigated the organs room, Nastya decided to stay where the pathologist used to work. She sat alone in pitch black darkness to heighten her senses, when suddenly the crucifix fell off the table, seemingly on its own. But that wasn't enough to remove this brave lady from the room. Somehow, the coffin also started opening by itself, right behind her. Throughout the entire investigation, we could see orbs flying all over the place, and the team kept feeling a heavy atmosphere. However, the items left behind inside that abandoned morgue, along with the state of the whole place, painted a vivid picture of the despair and sadness felt by those who lost their loved ones during the pandemic. This certainly added a significant amount of credibility to the footage they captured, but was it enough to prove that the place is really haunted? Let us know your thoughts. TikToker Dom did live a relatively quiet life. That was until something seemed to make itself at home in his humble abode. He started to notice some subtly strange activity at first. Doors would be swinging and things would go topping off the shelves, seemingly by themselves. He cycled through every rational thought and theory, but everything seemed to scream paranormal activity in his head. And worse yet, he believed the supposed entity to be feeding off his fear. <laughs> Engaging with the spirit using a positive approach was supposed to ease the tension within the house, but it only made the activity 10 times spookier. Take a look. Hey guys, so I just got home from work. I was reading through your comments. Of course, I already got this happening. Got this door creaking, moving once again. Stop. I said stop. Kitty? Kitty? Stop. I said stop. What the hell? Give me the door. Spirits, this is enough. I said stop. Animals have always been rumoured to be able to see the afterlife, and this kitty seemed to see red as well. But even after these weird cat versus ghost antics, he seems to keep his confidence up and continues communicating with whatever has joined him in his home. I need to sleep. Stop. You need to leave. This is my home. And like clockwork, whenever he goes to investigate. I need to stop. This is my home. There's nothing there. Like always. 
Nothing. Stop. Turn it off. I need to sleep. Thank you. Now leave. Turn it off. But what was once just doors moving on command, or lights going on and off all night, soon turned into a living nightmare. And that's when he managed to capture this. Speaking of life, I got this reading right here. I'm trying to focus on it, but it's kind of hard when you got this going on. Stop. Stop. Who the hell was that? Sure, the way Dom slipped his camera to the ground as he got up was a little sus since it left plenty of room there for a sneaky jump cut. The orbs though, very commonly associated with paranormal activity. But what do you think about all these creepy videos? Is Dom living with a shadow man? Or has he got the internet wrapped around his little finger? Have you seen this scary compilation full of creepy stuff caught on camera yet? It's perfect for you to watch next. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to avoid missing our weekly spook fest. Thanks for watching. Stay in the dark.